from my last video uh, but today I want to share with you on a special menu uh, how I make my uh, jam uh, this mulberry jam okay, eh? this is a mulberry I collected at my school today I want to share with my friends tomorrow for breakfast I'm gonna eat it with a bread thing so let's see the ingredients okay uh, around 400 grams of uh, ripe mulberry uh, here I mix a bit with some unripe one uh, 500 uh, ml of uh, water a lemon we need half of it a pot and wait there eh? any sugar okay any sugar so first you just uh, clean up the berries then put it on a pot yeah, put it in the pot and then I want to slice half of a lemon yeah, half of lemon okay just squeeze it okay I'm gonna pick up the seeds okay that's all and then one cup of sugar, any sugar, custard sugar, just uh, normal sugar. Okay. And then just pour the water. Just enough, yeah, just enough. Okay, then let it simmer. Okay, let it simmer for a while. Okay, let's see here. Uh, now it's boiling and let it simmer until it's thickened a bit and the, the water reduced. So we want the sugar to be dissolved. Okay, uh, my late grandmother, uh, Haja Sharifah uh, Rodia and Haja Raja, used to make jams during my childhood days. Uh, during the fruit season, uh, she will collect all the uneaten fruit unfinished one or maybe still on the top of three uh, she hired a, a person uh, to collect it such as rambutans and uh, mango skins then she will peel it and throw it in the pot and let it become a jam so nine of her children usually will be given each bottle of the jam itself yeah? each bottle I love my grandmothers. They are such an amazing women at the kitchen. Okay, you look here. I'm gonna let it sit uh, here and simmer for another maybe maybe 15 to 20 minutes until the uh, liquid reduces a bit and thickens. Then I will mash it. I will show you after this when I mash it. Okay, after 30 minutes, let's see how it looks. Okay. The, the liquid already uh, reduced down and it already thickened so I want to I want to mash it a bit uh, we're using a uh, measure here just mash a bit not all careful because it's really hot scorching hot watch your hands After we mash it, it only needs around maybe 10, another 10 minutes for it to finish, okay? Okay, look here. Look at that beautiful color. Slightly maroon, dark maroon, yeah, a purplish bit. Okay, uh, it's almost done. It's almost done. 
Uh, I just want to add uh, uh, cornstarch. Yeah. Uh, mix it with water. Become a slurry. Just a bit. Just a bit. Not not many. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to do too much. It's maybe one one tablespoon. Tablespoon. Okay, that's enough. Just to thicken it up a bit, and I will, I will switch off the stove. Yeah. I will turn off the stove. Okay, I think that's it. Look at that. Look at that goodness. You can eat. You can eat with scones, um, bread. We pair. Uh, we be a good pair. Okay. I think that's it. It's almost finished already. Uh, we almost finished here. Just for a while, another minute, and I will uh, turn off the stove. Okay, I already turned off uh, the fire, and now we can see the end result of this jam. Look nice and thick. Okay, I will transfer it to a bowl first before I put it in my uh, cute little jar. A mason jar actually. Okay. Careful, it's very hot. Okay. It needs uh, some time to set, or you can put it straight into the mason jar. Ready to be eaten? Okay. My friend gonna enjoy this tomorrow for breakfast. Uh, Rafiza, because she requested it, huh? I made it for you and the gangs. Inshallah, see you tomorrow. Bye.